Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorials, and this is my tutorial on Minecraft on how to survive your first night. So, to survive your first night, you need to um, get wood to get tools, and you need to find shelter. And well, as you can, as you can see now, the sun is going up. And then it's going to stay up there for a minute or two, and then it's going to start to go down. And that's when it's going to be nighttime. And at night, that's when bad creatures come out and they want to kill you. So you need it. And for, to prevent that, you need to have a shelter. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you start the survival mode, you want to. Um, collect wood and see you want to collect um, about 11 12 pieces of wood you can collect as much as you want but you don't want to spend your whole day collecting wood for your first night and you press I to open your inventory for this version of minecraft alpha but I like to go to the options and go to controls and change I to E because it's just more convenient for me to press and go to the press the button on my keyboard and go to my inventory. Okay, so sorry if it is laggy, but okay. So I need to collect more wood, and as you can see, like my hand has become a block, well, of wood, but it's not really a block of wood. It's just that. I was holding, I'm holding a block of wood, so. <laughs> okay, so. Scatter this wood. <clears throat> and there are many resources on the map, so. And you can almost do anything you want in Minecraft. And Minecraft is an amazing game. You. There's so many resources in the game, I can't, like, tell you all of them. Like, you just have to play the game, and you can just follow my tutorials. This is Minecraft Tutorial 1. How to survive your first night. Okay, 15 pieces is enough. So what you're going to do now, you can go to your inventory, press E, or if you're on Minecraft Alpha, you want to press I, but you can change it to E. Alright, so... Here's a character follows you around where your mouse goes. So this is your crafting table, and this is where you craft up. But this, when you make a work, you can make a workbench, and that's when you can craft tools. Because this is like too small of a box to craft tools. To craft tools, you need to have a nine square workbench. And yeah, to do that, you want to just drag your wood, click right left click on it and put it in there then you see there's wooden planks so I click on that and drag them down anywhere so just want to gather all that instead of doing this what I'm doing just dragging it you can just keep clicking on it and there's 60 wooden planks now what you don't want to do with the wooden planks you want to Put one in each box right here, and that's a crafting table right here. So place that down. And you want to create sticks. To create sticks, you want to put one wooden plank on top of the other. So, and you right click on this stack of um, whatever resource you have, and it will automatically split it in half. All right. So let's gather that uh, around. 30 40 sticks and then you don't want to convert all your wooden planks to sticks well then you won't have any wooden planks to create tools so okay so once you've done that you want to scroll with your mouse button or press like the number like one two three four and that's how you can switch um, stuff down in your inventory right here and so you just grab your crafting table and you want to just point it out at the ground and you want to right click to place it down. 
Now, as you can see, there's a much larger crafting table. And that's where you mostly make everything in the game. <laughs> so, what you want to do to create a pickaxe, axe, like a pickaxe for mining rock and stone. And to make, right now, you want to make an axe for um, chopping down wood from trees and a sword to fight off the night. So, here's how you do it just place it in there. Then, you want to put three. You kind of shape it of what your tool wants to make. Here's the handle, and here's the thing, and then here's the pickaxe. I'm gonna create two of those. Now I'm gonna make an axe. You wanna have two sticks right here and three like that. You can go it the other way, like right here, right there. It doesn't matter though. Okay. Now I'm gonna create two of those. Now for a shovel, it's two sticks, one thing right there. Shovel. I have two of those. And then a sword is a stick, and then two blocks right here. Okay, since I have all my tools now, not all everything, but now just if you want to pick up your workbench and take it somewhere else, just destroy it with your. It doesn't matter what you destroy it with. Okay, I'm gonna go on top of this mountain. Space bar to jump, and I'm gonna look around what's around here. Okay, it's not really that high, but see some stuff. Uh, where the sun? As you can see, the sun is going down now. See my cursor is I'm not moving my cursor, and the sun is going into my cursor. Okay, so what we want to do? We just want to find a mountain and just start digging into it to make a little hidey hole. You want a hidey hole to survive for your first night. And I will show you how to do that, but I want to find a good mountain, a little hill to do it on. So, let me just climb up here. Whoa, sorry for the lag. And I'm just gonna make a hidey hole Uh, I have, still have lots of time, but I'm going to build a hidey hole right in here. So for a shovel, you for shovels you want to dig dirt. For shovels, that's the tool. And swords, as you can probably know, it's for fighting creatures and killing animals for food and armor and stuff. And the axe is for chopping wood. Pickaxe for rock. So I'll take your shovel if it's dirt. You hold the I forgot to tell you this, but you for hold the you wanna hold the left click button pointing at the thing to craft it. Now this is rock, this is stone right here. So you wanna get your pickaxe and start mining to that. As you see when you destroy a block like a resource like a little block, like a thing would fall down and you can collect it for resources. So yeah, you wanna get all the you wanna get all the resources that drop. Unless you can't because you're in a situation like with monsters attacking you or I don't know. But I just wanna keep digging here. And You can do it. You can basically do whatever you want. In you can do whatever you want in your hidey hole. And it's gonna make a. You want to go. You don't want to make it too fancy. I mean, like you want to make it so perfect that you want to stay there forever. Because eventually you're gonna want to move out of your hidey hole and create a house. And that. Because you probably don't want to stay in your hidey hole for a long time. So, yeah. Okay, so, you don't... Alright, oh, you see, and I forgot to mention this, but you see the green bar under my tools on the, on the bottom screen? You know, the pickaxe already at red. That's your, um... 
your tools help. And that's when you, like if it degrades, um, down, if it degrades all the way down, then you can't use that tool anymore. It disappears because it's like, it's just it's used too much. As you can see, the sun's going down, it's getting darker, and I have my hidey hole. What I forgot to do, I'm sorry, but I couldn't, I forgot about it, but you want to find coal, and it's stone, like, before you end your hidey hole, unless you want to stay in the dark in your hidey hole for the whole night. For coal, right here, I'll tell you, you want to block off your hidey hole so nothing can get in on it. And so creepers or skeletons or zombies can't get in like this. So, and if you leave double window open, spiders are can get in. So you want to have just one little window like that. And I know it. I didn't get coal, but coal will have like stone like this with black dots on it. And coal can be used to create torches, which create light. And I'll show you how to create torches. You just put a s sticks under here and just put coal right here and then it will create torches. Then you can place that anywhere on the walls or on the ground or anywhere. And then it will provide light. Okay, and that's all for this Minecraft tutorial. Hope this helped you a lot if you're a beginner or Minecrafter or something like that. And now I'm going to have to stay in here in the dark. I have to wait until it's my turn. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you a lot. If the, if you if this helped you, please like, subscribe, and I'll be making my next tutorial soon. So, thanks for watching. Bye.